from a wild Karen who thought she was justified in celebrating her culture. And when I danced in, they kicked me out of the dance. Bullshit and colonized bullshit. To a stubborn young woman requesting hugs from officers. Can I give, can I give you, can I, can we please just group hug? The government is not for you. These are just a few incidents that the police had a tough time handling. Now it's time for the first insane woman. One cigarette. On April 30th, 2023, police were dispatched to a bar regarding an incident of a woman harassing a guy at a bar. Officers quickly arrived at the scene and asked some witnesses for details. the woman's girlfriend had already shown up and explained to officers what happened promising to take the suspect home one cigarette mm. calm it down the ashtray. The yeah, ashtray. I was like, oh, no, I got that. Oh, okay. I, I was just trying to hold on to her. Amazing. Oh, smoke a cigarette. Smoke a cigarette. No, no, no I, ashtray. I, ashtray. I knocked it to Oh, the ashtray. What happened with the ashtray? Tell me what happened with the ashtray. Stop it. Outside. It's fine. Tell I, me what happened with the ashtray. It's fine. I'm going to take her home. Tell I'm me. going to take her home. Oh, you can't tell me. Stop it. You can't tell me. You want me to stop it? You want me to see the camera? Huh? What was that? She's going to leave. So she was just upset. She was upset about something. She said, Well, you said something to her. They just wrapped up trying to call her. She's she really drunk. However, the police requested the suspect not to leave. Her attempts to escape failed, and she was immediately taken into custody. <laughs> Hey, stop fucking talking. Now. Stop. Let me go. You're not going anywhere. Alisa. I know she will let me go. I said let me go. Look at me and stop talking. You're under arrest. Can I get a piece of no. While being escorted to the police car, the woman attempted to flee, struggling with the officers in an effort to escape. Stay here. No, you're not back up anywhere. Stop. 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 No, just her. Roll your side. Are you the Yankee or the Nazi? I've asked you multiple times to do a lot of things. You, you don't want to listen to that. my leg, nigga. How am I going to roll to my side? What's wrong with my neck? My leg, nigga. Huh? I can't even comfortably be yeah. right here, nigga. The fuck? Uh, if you want to talk to the guy in this uh, leather jacket, see if he wants to press charges or anything. Ask him. I'm waiting for you. After another failed attempt to flee, the suspect became uncooperative and continued shouting at the officers. The fuck? Ask her name. Ask her name. Can you unlock your car for me? Ask her name, nigga. Ask her name, nigga. Yank now. Yank now. Yank now. Don't want to yank now. Yank now. Ask me a goddamn fucking thing. Oh. I got, I got to do her pockets over Let me go, please. 
cart. Have a seat in here. Yo, shut the fuck up, goofy ass nigga. I'm trying, I'm trying, can I? Can I? Can I? Myself. So, the story is apparently a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. her girlfriend asked me for a ride on my motorcycle. So I did. The investigation revealed that the incident stemmed from the suspect's romantic jealousy, triggered by the man giving her girlfriend a motorcycle ride. I didn't know who she was. So she, I guess she <laughs> checked me about it. Oh, you gave my girlfriend a ride? I was like, I said it was a motorcycle ride. She's okay. obviously gay. Anyway, <laughs> you know. And uh, so she was upset about it. So she tried to fight. So, I mean, I'm a grown man. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't. And so she got aside. She was wild enough. She was being combative, she, from the very beginning, being combative? with the cop, with the officer. Oh, she was? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So she's basically stuck here. Like, she tried to stick me, but I fight. I, I do what I make. <laughs> I was like, I'm fighting one man, one man, like, you're kidding. Uh, obviously, she's intoxicated, I can mm -hmm. tell that. Mm -hmm. So she's drunk and disorderly right now. Right. Um, mm -hmm. But if she did, you, really, you do deserve the right to push I appreciate charges. that, I understand. I'm, I'm a work for the city, I'm a code enforcement, retired uh, extradition agent. You don't want to? Don't want to press any charges, she's just having a rough night. 54 on charges. But she was a disruptive. Absolutely. She, 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 a times. she came up to you. What is exactly she so, did you? So we were sitting uh -huh. in a social setting. Everybody's talking. I didn't know who she was. Or she was so I guess the more drinks she got, the more she got. She got Fortunately, the man wasn't seriously injured as he had already run off upon encountering the aggressive woman. She got come back. She, she got up and physical. So I stood back and moved on the chair. And I'm like, oh, relax. So well, what was she doing as she was saying? Was she verbal? So, so she was, yeah, she was verbal, she was making threats. Like, what, what kind of threats was she making? I'm gonna hit you, yeah, fuck you up. I fucking, uh, uh, don't try and, you know, the, the typical okay. drunk and disorderly threats. Alright, did she physically strike <laughs> you? She did. She tried to, and I parried, and she fell. So she did lunge at you, though? She did. She took a, a, a definite swing, and I parried, and she fell. Well, what happened? Right. So that's what I was explaining to Dominic. We were sitting down, and I didn't know who she was. Apparently, two weeks ago, I gave her a question. I'm gonna ask me, I didn't know the relationship. So the more drinks she got, the more. She wanted to bring it up, so she, when she brought it up, she exploded. Okay. So, <clears throat> you know, I tried to disengage. That's what I saw. Yeah, yeah, I tried to disengage. Really she kept coming at me and... Uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. somebody would have told us that what happened the first I time. Had no I was just... Yeah, I'm sorry, I know. Nobody I know. would tell us. Yeah, right, right. No, no, so you when she walked outside, I had no idea she was going to come to attack you. 100%. And, and she was saying audibly, I just want to apologize. So there was no... Well, she everyone was on the side. Ultimately, the woman was charged with disorderly intoxication, resisting an officer without violence and battery on officer. These charges may cost her a combined maximum of over six years in jail and fines of up to $6,500. It may be hard to believe, but this is how one woman reacted to a comment on her actions. <laughs> <laughs> On December 2nd, 2023, in Washington, police responded to a startling incident at a Burlington retail store where a shopper reportedly attacked the store manager. Sit down. Okay. On your butt, sit down. I don't have a record at all. Okay, sit down on your listen, butt. Listen, I peed my pants in that okay. store and the lady was being mean to me. Okay, she stop, listen, no, please, stop, stop. please listen to me. Just stop. I peed my pants because she was okay. being mean to me. Okay, well, I peed my Please don't rest me, please, please. Stop. I don't have a record at all. Please, please, please. Stop. Please, please, please. Okay. Please, please, please. No, please. Okay, just just let me get, let me tell you, please, stop. what she did to me. The security guard never before Shh. dragged my ass. Okay, just relax. Look, I don't have a record at okay. all. At all, I don't. Okay. Let me just relax. Let me put you in handcuffs and we'll sort it out. Listen. Okay, I'm listening to you, but let me. I put peed my. Okay, please. let me put I you in handcuffs and then we'll sort it out. Please. But you understand? I don't. Okay, just relax. Sort it around. No, I don't have a record at all. Okay. I can't, I can't, I can't get a record. Okay. okay. Stop. Just relax, okay? Oh my God, please. The police decided to apprehend the suspect upon approaching her, but her uncooperative attitude escalated the tension. Please let me call somebody. Please let me call my dog. It's my dog. 
You're not in a position to make demands right now. Please I just want have a seat in the car. I don't have a record at all. I'm, I'm a good girl. I'm a good person. I don't please, do it. Please have a seat. Please help me. There you go. Put your feet in. Where's my purse? Can I have my it's purse? It's right on my hood. Can I please smoke a cigarette? Please? No. Please, can I smoke a cigarette? Please? Please, sir. Please, no. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. No. I don't want to. Even after being seated in the police car, she continued ranting incoherently and banging on the door, showing no regard for those around her. The investigation revealed that the suspect was furious after the store manager made comments about her behavior. After knocking down a sign in the store and walking out, she returned and attacked the manager, injuring her neck. The manager suffered a fairly serious injury. Back in the store and she just wailed at me. And Hit you a couple times? Yeah. And left? Yeah. Okay. What you've told me, right? Um, everything's been recorded on body camera as well, but um, a written statement from your own words um, would be on the report as well, if that's something you'd like to do. So, so, so basically, we're going to put her in the jail for the assault against you. Okay. okay. And like I said, a written statement from you mm -hmm. is something. Because what's going to happen here is I'm going to go, I'm going to write a report based off my memory and my notes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go over with you one more time just to make sure I've got it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to write it basically how I write reports. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. But a written statement in your own words is yeah, something that the, judge, that the prosecutors. All right, see so yeah, um, so everything that you use is true and correct to the best of your knowledge. Gosh, I can't even write right now. Right. <laughs> it's also a heavy clipboard. Okay, well thanks for coming out. I'm so glad you got her. Absolutely, all right. You have a better night. Because I told her, I said, you know what? Sufficient evidence was gathered and the suspect was taken to jail for her actions. Those are socks from the Dollar Tree. Those aren't even from her store. Those are from the Dollar Tree. Fuck. Please, did I have a cigarette, please? I didn't steal anything from that store. I didn't steal anything. Anything. Did your victim get transported by MR or you still with her? I didn't know I'd steal anything. <laughs> Grab my ass. I told you I'm not a criminal. I don't. No priors. I don't break the law. I'm a good person. The security guard there grabbed my ass the last time I was there. That lady has harassed me so many times. I've been in there before and the other security guard me. Okay, but what happened today? And today the lady was took my card away from me. When the officer stopped the car, she repeatedly insisted that the security guard at the store had mistreated her on a previous occasion. She also accused the officer of treating her unfairly. I don't like that, okay? I'm a good person. She's mean to me. She's always mean to me whenever I come in here and I just I stabbed. I don't know. I have my I don't have anything, you know. I mean, at least when I leave my house I'd like to have a good time when I go shopping, you know. And this can call me names and treat me like shit. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. So why did you out of the store and then go back into. I don't know. I told you I have a UTI. It's making me act crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just I don't know. 
In the end, the woman was arrested and charged with assault and resisting arrest, for which she may face up to $1,500 fine and 60 days in jail. And it would be completely insane to exert your civil rights like this woman. I was like, why are you trying to charge my people to come celebrate? And then they got mad at me. And then they, I went out there dancing with my dog. Which On April 20th, 2024 in Florida, an officer responded to a call regarding a disorderly woman at a community gathering. When the officer arrived on scene, he was guided to where the woman was still cursing and screaming at nearby subjects. Your turn. Come in. Come in. What's going on? They came attacking me because I said, you guys are white people acting like natives, and they came at me. Okay. So what's the, what's the issue with them? Like, fill me in. Because I'm full-blooded Native American. All right. I'm Blackfeet, and I'm Colville, and I'm enrolled, and you can look that up. And I don't know why you're charging people to celebrate the culture at a powwow right. that nobody was even dancing in. And when I danced in, they kicked me out of the dancing. They kicked me out from just celebrating my own culture. Okay. From celebrating my own culture. All right. So. Because I had my wolf dog with me. Okay. All right. So, I'm Native American. I'm enrolled. I'm from Washington State. Yeah. Okay, I am Blackfeet. My kids are all enrolled Blackfeet. My kids are enrolled Blackfeet. Are your kids enrolled Blackfeet? Didn't think so, bitch. Didn't think so, bitch. Come here. Come here. Come here. As her behavior grew increasingly aggressive, the officer decided to place her in handcuffs to ensure everyone's safety and regain control of the situation. Look at that. Woman, come at me. Can y'all go away, please? Grandma, we we all go. Shut up! I'm Blackfeet. I said I'm Blackfeet. Let me handle it. You guys are white. You guys are charging to come to powwow. Let me let me handle it. To powwow to celebrate my own culture. Stop, relax. I come from the Northwest. I I am Salish and I am Blackfeet. I just want to leave. I get that. And I'm never coming back here again because they're fake and they're white and they charge Native Americans to come to a powwow, which is bullshit and colonizers bullshit. And it may be. It may be. Um, I majored. I went to college. I went to law school. Like, I went to college and I majored in women's studies and I took Native American classes. And you do not ever charge people to celebrate their culture. The woman felt it was unfair that officers didn't charge another older white woman who, according to her, had prevented her from celebrating her culture. The old woman came at me. You can't even ask them. The old woman came at me. She was trying to come at me because she saw you were here. But you didn't see we're, it. No, uh, frankly, I didn't. And we're uh, we're gonna work everything out. But at this at this point, I'm not I'm not gonna let you leave. I gotta investigate. Okay. That's fine. Go so, ahead. If you need me, I'm gonna take her back in the That's car. That's a good idea. In the black van over there. Okay. Sorry. And I'm really sorry, but I cannot stand you people may. trying to charge Native Americans to celebrate their own religion. I hear you. And their own culture. So, fill me in on the events. Like, how did? I walked in here, I'm like, why are you charging Native Americans yeah. to come to their own? And I'm a drummer and I'm a dancer. And they had my drum and it had my dance gear with me. And they're, and at first they tried to charge me and my family to come here. I'm like, excuse me, I'm a Native American. Why are you trying to charge my family to celebrate my culture? Right. That's colonization. It that was almost comical to see how frustrated she got when they didn't allow her dog to join. She even claimed to have PTSD and threatened to fight if anyone touched her. Emotional support animal and she's certified. And they tried to kick me off out of the place because my dog was with me, which is unlawful. She is my emotional certified animal. You can look it up. I have PTSD. I have severe PTSD. So if anybody comes at me, I'm going to fight them for my life. Okay. I've dealt with PTSD. I've almost been killed multiple times. I grew up with like a horrible childhood. So if somebody comes at me, guess what? I'm going to fight. Yeah. I'm not a runner. All right. Well, let me do this. Okay. I'm going to put you in their conditioned car for a minute. Um, while I go and I talk to everybody, try to get an understanding of what's going on and see uh, what I can do. All right. They're all going to lie. Okay, go ahead. Just give me a minute to talk to everybody else and see, because I got I to gotta come up with a consensus on what happened. It takes a minute. Talk to my husband. I don't fight people. I will. I'll talk to everybody. Is the rifle out? Yeah, you can touch it. Thank you. 
The investigation continued with some witness statements. It turned out to be a fundraiser event that required a fee to participate. However, the suspect refused to comply and started hitting and attacking people around her. I have been in the, you said you were gonna talk to my husband and he's right here, you haven't talked to him. I'm getting there. There's a lot of people to talk to. All right, my dear, I'm here to listen to you. So, um, I have to go pee really, really bad. Okay. I'm going to read this to you, all right? Uh, you've got the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. He cannot afford to hire a lawyer. Won't be appointed to represent you. Why do you have to read that? I have a card. Should you know that? Aren't you a sheriff? It's, uh, it's requested that we use the card just in case there's some sort of discrepancy. Uh, it's a case building thing. Um, Despite the suspect's uncooperative attitude, the officer continued informing her of her offenses and taken to jail. I wanted to represent you before any questioning, if you wish. You, you can decide at any time to exercise these uh, rights. And I have the right to remain silent, and, and I will get a court appointed attorney, or I will get an attorney. Are you wanting to talk to one before questioning? Yeah, I'm not talking to you. Okay. Like, Perfect. okay, do you want to talk? What do you want to talk about? No, you, you declined. Thank you. Should you know that by now? Well, I need to make sure that I've I have. Been here for hours. I gotta make sure I have the right degrees and everything. I want to make sure. She was charged with misdemeanor battery, felony battery on person, and disorderly conduct. The combination of three charges may end her up in a $2,500 fine and up to two years in prison. But how this woman changed her emotions following police's order was marvelous. On January 21st, 2023, a 26-year-old woman is pulled over after officers observe her driving erratically and swerving on the road. Hey, miss. Hello. My name's Officer Petron. Say, Officer Thomas stated he stopped you for a couple reasons. Um, he's got to go, though. I'm just going to make sure you're okay to drive, and if you are, we'll get you out of here, okay? I'm just going to ask you to step out of the car, okay? Yes. Thanks. Um, have you had any alcoholic beverages to drink tonight? Miss, have you, had any, have you had any alcoholic beverages to drink tonight? Because I can smell it coming off you. I know you. I know you cannot smell it off of me. Okay, I, I can. I'm just asking how many did you have. I'm not asking. I know you cannot smell it off of me. Okay. What do you want to? Heads up! Like, I'm gonna close your door. Heads up! I don't want to get your arm. Heads up. It's okay. Thanks. You're good. You're good. Okay. Oh, good. What time was your last alcoholic beverage? How long ago? About an hour ago. Okay. Where were you drinking at? Downtown. Which bar? The officer then asked about her medical condition to determine if she was physically capable of completing the field sobriety test. Since she had no medical issues that would interfere, the officers began the field sobriety test. So if you don't mind, let's go to the end of this white line over here, okay? What's your first name? My name's Maddie. Maddie, okay. Well, I'm Officer Petron, so we're just gonna make sure you're good nice to drive, to meet okay? You, Officer Petron. Nice to meet you. Knuckles. Are you okay? No, All right. You like the knuckles? <laughs> I do okay. like the knuckles. Okay. Okay. Are you able to see my glowing finger here? I understand. Okay. I'm focusing on the light, right? Yep. How come you're not following it? You're just staring at me. I'm, I'm following the light. Okay, all right, let's try Listen, this again. Listen, I appreciate, whether you want to believe it or not, there are people out here who appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. For the community. <laughs> there are a lot of people who appreciate what you're doing. Whether or not you want to believe it, there are a lot of people who believe and appreciate what you're doing. It was quite amusing to see how much she appreciated the officer's efforts to keep people safe. She even asked for a group hug, which of course wasn't possible while the officers were on duty. All right, let's finish this test up. Can I give, can I give you, can I, can we please just group hug? No. What do you want to, what do you want to do with that? No, Maddie. Come on, no. come on, please. You don't have to worry about me. All right, Maddie, let's finish you this exercise, You don't have to okay? worry about me. Just finish exercise, okay? Okay, here we go, Maddie. All right up here, follow with your eyes, eyes only. I will look to the light. 
Take a look at me. All right, we'll look to the line. All right, we're going to finish. Are you going to do this exercise or no? Can we please hug each other, I though? I can't hug you. Listen, what, do you want to believe it or not? <laughs> if we choose uh, to hug each other now, I will have uh, so much yeah. more respect All for right. you. Let's do, as... the, let's do the next exercise because you can't seem to focus. Okay. Why? Let's put your left foot on that line in front of you. Your right foot directly in front, touching heel to toe, just like this. Right foot in front. During the sobriety tests, Maddie was easily distracted due to the effects of alcohol. Officers had to spend a lot of time explaining the rules and demonstrating them to her. Um, okay. Okay, Matt, you're under a pretty high, okay? I'm not a bad person, just made a mistake today, okay? It's all there is to it. And uh, yeah, I mean, are you okay if we just Daddy, park your car? Daddy, you want me to park your car for you, so hopefully it won't get towed? Officer, if you could do that, I would appreciate it. I really would. I just want your permission before I... Yeah. We'll go to my car so the female officer can search you, okay? Alright, I'm going to search you. Make sure you don't have anything in your person. Nothing that could poke stick or stab me, right? I thought you said you respected us. Why are you surprised? I do not respect the government. And well, to be did. honest with you, you, just said you, you should be a parent. You should be. Okay. You should be. <laughs> Her attitude changed after the arrest, starting with an offensive remark directed at one of the officers. Because you, you like to. Th no, 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 yes, 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 no, yes. no, 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 no. You like to think that the government is no. for you, but no. is it. You're, no, no, no. No, 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 no. The government is Nobody not else. for you. <laughs> yeah. You will find out. Yeah. Well, you will find out. This is why we are the government, to take people off the road like you. That put other drivers at risk. Fuck you bitches. That's all I can say. As long as you choose to allow yourself to be a part of the fucking government, mm -hmm. Maddie, you don't have any, Maddie. you have no fucking idea. Maddie, you have part. no fucking idea. Hey, no, 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 no. Uh, listen, yes. before we get in the car, no, no, don't, you, you, you don't, no, no, listen. This is, gonna, you're gonna get this is not going to end well. No, I'm not going to, listen, get an listen, 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 I appreciate this what you're doing. At this point, it seemed like she was too intoxicated to understand what she was saying. The officer quickly secured her in the patrol car and transported her to jail. Okay, it's going to make it worse if you don't get out of the car. Step out, you just have to get out of my car. Thank you. Go on. I'll help you. Why don't you grab my hand? I will, hang on. I'll help you. Just watch your step, please, okay? Here, bring your foot out. Careful. There you go. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go to that door, okay? I have your phone, your keys, and your wallet for you. Come on. Come on. Stop the government. Okay. Stop the police. Okay, come on. Yeah, I will, I will follow you, but... <laughs> As long as you allow yourself to be subjected to this bullshit. <laughs> I bet you're a really nice person to get this I am a much. very, I am. I am. I am a very nice person. Finally, Mehdi was charged with DUI. She was later sentenced to one month probation and was ordered to pay a fine of $500. Welcome to Speed Body Cam channel, where we share police body cam footage. We are a dedicated team focused on creating educational and engaging content about law enforcement. Using AI and advanced technology combined with editing skill, we carefully craft our own authentic videos. Our editing team works hard to highlight the emotional and real-life challenge officers face every day. Through impactful storytelling, we bring this story to life and share important lessons to raise awareness about the need to respect and comply with law enforcement. Please note that the content we present is not intended to promote or glorify violence, nor to condemn any individual or organization. We share this video for educational purposes 
reporting and encouraging compliance with law and law enforcement in your area. Additionally, our body cam footage is edited for brevity and to comply with YouTube's community guidelines. Focusing on journalistic integrity while bringing both entertainment and meaningful lessons. We appreciate YouTube for providing a wonderful platform to reach viewers and share valuable content worldwide. Our audience support is a huge motivation for us to continue producing meaningful content every day. And it, and it means so much to us. Thank you for being a part of the Speed Body Cam community. That's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.